Hinda, Varmini, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special episode, man. I'm hanging out with um, a freaking legend. You might know him as Dumi from the volume, Stoji T, however you know him. Regardless, fucking legend. It's such an honor to have you on the show, man. Peace, peace. Thank you for having me, sir. Thank you very much for the invitation. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm so nervous right now because I'm not used to, you know, chatting to such legends. Makafela, Makafela, lies, absolute lies. <laughs> <laughs> you, become such, you become such a pro out of unearthing uh, uh, dirty little secrets from people. I don't believe you. <laughs> Dude, I got to start with uh, the, the Freestyle Fridays. My goodness, fucking hell. Every time I listen to yours, I got to have a dictionary handy because... Yes, yeah, so some of that shit no. that you spit is crazy, bro. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate it. Um, ah, it's, it's where we come from, man. It's, you know, lyrics. Some of us are lyrics people, you know. In fact, all of us are lyrics people, but, you know, um, levels, right? <laughs> and, and what's the plan with the Freestyle Fridays? Well, like, what's the bigger vision? Uh, so, I mean, the, you know, to, 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 to continue to platform a lot of artists, obviously, um, you know, we are, we are currently discussing ways to to take it, um, to make the platform a, a bit larger and a bit bigger. So, you know, whether it's digital or whether it's uh, terrestrial, you know. So, slow, but, yo, you know, those, those phone calls are happening. <laughs> I see you always tagging Drake. Uh, is that you trying to get him on on one of the freestyles? <laughs> no, that was because we used his beats for one of them. So, we just, we just, we just tagged him because it was one of his songs. So... Just thought, hey, look, this is what people are doing to a song. Why am I you know? uh, But yeah, I mean, yo, that would be dope. That would be dope. We tag everyone who's, who's beat we use. If you use a Spanner Camp beat, we're tagging them as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, hear you, dog. And speaking about freestyles, I checked out the one you did on Sway. My gosh. That's Sway in the morning freestyle. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know, you know, Meg, it's like, you know, you know when, 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 when things align and they go, okay, bro, look, this is what you do. <laughs> this is what you do. This, 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 this is a platform and it's, it's, it's global and just do what you do. Do what you do in the bedroom. Do what you do at the baseline. Do what you do in France. Do what you do. Here it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yo, thank God, man. I didn't, I didn't fluff it. I didn't make, make a mistake. I just like, yo, and it was a beautiful moment also just for the country as well, man. It was like, you know, uh, I, I really wanted, I really wanted, I, w I wanted to rep, I wanted to represent the country, man. It's like, you know, so people don't just see me as, oh, that rapper. It was like, oh, that's ours. He's our guy, that one. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you do a freestyle like yeah. that, dude, do, do you come up with, with the, the lines like from the dome or do you write them down or like what happens, bro? Yeah, so that was, so no, so there's, um, I'm, I'm glad you asked this question. So, so there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of talk about freestyle, right? What freestyle means, right? So there are two types of freestyles, right? So there's a, a freestyle means basically in its original meaning, it means a unrehearsed verse uh, or, or, or rap that's maybe you've never recorded on a song people have never heard. It can be written, it can be off the dome, it can be whatever, right? And then there's a very specific freestyle, which is off the dome. That's the one where you say, yo, uh, uh, McDonald's, and then you must rhyme McDonald's. You, you feel me? That's, that's off the head, that's off the cuff, that's improvised, you know what I mean? So that one was literally like, yo, because, because of the platform, I was like, I, yeah, I know, you know, I can, I can come here and I, I can, I, and I can rhyme Nike with Mikey, but I was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I need, to, I, need, I, need, I need to tell my story, you feel me? I need to tell my story. So I, I really, the, you know, that one was something that I, I felt like, yo, here and there, I, I, I put in some lines, but it was really like, yo, I wanted to, I wanted, I wanted something strong, man, that represents who I am, you know? So, so no, that, that wasn't off the, off the head. But they, yo, they, they, they just played whatever beat, and I was like, okay, I shall I, I buy a man. That's dope, man. And some of the lines were they directed at people that we know. Such as which line? Such as? <laughs> Such as? I gotta go back, but I just know it was lit. <laughs> I want, I want to call you. Hey, you want me to snitch on myself, basically? You want me to snitch on myself? You need to ask me a question. You snitch. You want me to snitch on myself? <laughs> but but here's the thing, dog. Um, do you feel like yeah. you unappreciated in SA, man? Not at all, not at all. I, I feel that, I feel that, um, 
I think I think there's there's there might be a disproportionate um you know the the, the level of, of 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 success and the level of talent maybe there's a, there's a disconnect there and I, I think that's what gives people the idea that ah this guy is not you know but I mean you know I I have I think also I spend a lot of time outside the country mm. so I built a lot of my a, a lot of my fan base outside the country so you know I'm, I'm able to feed my kids I'm able to live I'm able to but it, it, because maybe we're not getting to the levels of like you know of 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 the leaders in the game people might think that no man this guy is not you know yeah. so but but I don't feel I don't feel under I, I, you know I don't feel like that at all I just feel like more people could be, could could benefit from you know knowing who I am <laughs> you know cuz there's this artist like that I mean you look at a moon child or the antwort that really in essay they're not that big but outside of they say they're huge you know yeah. And and that's how right, I feel right, like with right. you because you forever touring um, out of the country, man. You forever out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it 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 it, it, it does happen. Uh, um, I think it's unfortunate because uh, all those artists that you mentioned, you know, Moonchild, The Unwrote, me as well, uh, Freshly Done. However, it's like we all draw. Our, our source is here. <laughs> our source is from here. You know what I mean? And the, those all those artists. Had, had made a name for themselves somehow here as well, you know, even before they were, you know what I mean? Um, so I don't, I, don't, I don't think, you know, uh, it, it, it can be unfortunate that sometimes we want people to be validated by Orkan to, for us to really appreciate what they are, you know? Um, mm. So it does happen, but it, I, I find it unfortunate. And what's the plan with Motif? What are we doing this year, man? What's popping? Yo, I don't know why people keep asking me about Motif because Stogie T's, all, all, all of Stogie T's projects have come through Motif. So I don't know what y'all talking about. Motif, <laughs> yo, as long as I'm alive, Motif is here. What, what are we talking about? But are you know, you, not, not, you, not, are you, you, you want me to be like Mabala? <laughs> you niggas, yes. You want me to be also Mabala? Are you signing yeah, someone? You to, to... <laughs> <laughs> or you like done? I don't know about people. signing, bro. No, you know what? You know what, man? I, 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 I'll, give you, I'll give you the most honest answer I can give you is that I think that what we offered as Motif was, you know, we build artists. We, 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 we help develop artists, you know? Um, and I think nowadays, because of technology, these kids are ready, bro. They, they, or they feel like they're ready. And so all they want from you is a cosign to just get in the door. They don't want you to talk about their songs. They don't want input on their lyrics. They don't want, they just want to get in. So if you can just show me the door, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, what, what we offered is not really, you know, it's, it's not something that these kids want. So I think in, an, in another capacity, maybe most definitely. I mean, like now, think, think about Freestyle Friday. Freestyle Friday is an extension of what I did as Motif, bro. It's like, there are all these young kids that people have never heard of or artists that have been around for a while that people aren't aware of that you're now platforming and giving an opportunity. So it's an extension of that work, man. It's incredibly rewarding still, you know? And the thing is, like, I've spoken to a lot of people that own uh, labels. You know, I spoke to uh, yeah. KO. Um, I've spoken to Newton as well and a couple of other guys. And like you mentioned, Mabala Noise, Ambitious, what's happening with Ambitious now, they all seem to end the same way, like on a sour note, on a bad note, you know, it never ends well. What do you think that is, man? As someone who's been in the game for so long? Uh, I, think, I think it's a couple of things. It's a couple of things. I think w w one of them is as an artist, especially if you're the, if you're the head of the label. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, the, 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 I'm an artist, so things like admin and things like, you know, those, those very nitty gritty things, we don't, we don't always do that stuff well, you know what I mean? And I'm not yeah. saying, you know, a business partner who did, did that stuff, I'm not saying that was the problem with, with, with our label or other people's label, but that's, that, that can be a factor. Second is the idea that I, I was the marquee guy. I, I'm the one who put on Ricky, who put on Reason, who, so takes a lot of work within yourself when the call comes from a brand and they don't want you, they want reason or, mm. or, 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 or Ricky, you know, you feel me? It takes a lot of personal, you have to be a grown up to go, okay, actually, you know what? This, this, this is what I wanted. I wanted reason or, or Ricky or whoever I signed 
to reach their full potential. And maybe their full potential is higher than mine. But I got to accept it. I got to be a grown up and say, no, but this is what the company's here for. The company needs to make this guy reach his potential. So it's that as well. And then third, man, I think there's a lot that goes unsaid and is not understood in, in, in the change of, 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 of relationship between me and Reason, are artist. He's, I'm, I'm his OG or whatever. And he's my, he's my artist. And we're friends and we like each other. And our, 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 our families are friends. And we like, but then there's a contractual problem. Or there's a, there's a thing here where we misunderstand each other. And it's business now. You feel me? You're mixing business with pleasure. And not, not all of us are well-versed in, in how the business works. So, yeah, man, those, those uh, disagreements happen. So it could be a lot of different factors. But I hate when people just blanketly say, artists can't sign other artists. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. You know, there, there are examples out there in the world where, where you know, other artists have, have helped other artists. So, you know what I mean? So basically, what you're saying is that there's a lot of moving pieces, man. A lot has to go into play and a lot has to be right, yeah. Mm, absolutely. You know, because I'm sure sometimes you sign an artist and they feel like they deserve the spotlight more than you. And they don't understand that, you know, maybe it's not their time yet. Absolutely, absolutely. Or another artist on the label. Or, or that their spotlight is too much on them and they're the ones, actually, they are the label. So they go, "Ah, right, man, yo, why, why... Why are we even signing another artist? Or why, why does it feel like this guy's piggybacking on my shows? You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's weird. I mean, because you're a small company, you know, you're trying to maximize your movement. So, you, you know, you do, a, you do a show with this guy and then you bring everyone else who's part of the crew. But maybe they don't get along or maybe someone does a different type of music and it doesn't fit the audience. It's crazy, bro. It's too many moving pieces. All right, so listen, we're about to put the spotlight on you right now, uh, since you're the godfather of hip-hop, you know? <laughs> uh, we're going to play a game called One Must Die. So I'm going to give you two MCs, and you must choose who must stay and who must die. One must go. Yo, 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 make sure here we go. Hold on. Are you ready for this one, my G? Yeah, my son. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Controversy. Kill controversy. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Not even. All right, cool. Casper uh, against JR. One must die. JR. JR. Wow, I never thought. And that's my heart. And that's my guy. That's my homie. But if the, if the one must die, you know, we, 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 don't have, we don't have all these things that we've had, all these, you know, monumental things that have happened in SA hip hop. So, mm. you know what I mean? And how you how you with Casper? You guys cool now? We are. We really are. We're we, 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 we cool, man. Like, I mean, you know, I saw him at, at, at Black Coffee's uh, luncheon. And we chill. We, 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 it's all good. Because uh, I came across, funny enough, I came across last week, I think, because I've been on YouTube during this lockdown. I came across the sure. essay. Hip Hop Awards 2017, I think, and you went on stage and you're like, yo, Still G, you ain't done shit for me. I was like, hey! <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> Crazy. I knew you were going to bring this shit up. I knew you were going to bring this shit up. <laughs> no, 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 no. But honestly, literally, I'm not kidding. Like, I didn't, it's not controversy or anything. I'm not trying to get a sound bite. That, where's my tea? Wait, wait, where's my tea? <laughs> That's literally, I was watching it last week and I was like, what? When did this happen? Because I didn't watch the shows. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that was, uh, sound like, yo, sound like uh, Egyptian mythology, ancient history. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but it's nice that you guys are cool, yeah. man. Would you ever, would you ever do a track with him? Uh, depends on the song. Depends on the song. You know, I always, to me, it's, uh, it's always the, the music first. You know, it's like, yo, dog. I mean, I, I don't think I'd ever turn out, turn down a feature from Jay. But yo, imagine if the song's whack, bro. Mm. <laughs> and it's like you and Jay Z, and the song's terrible. It's like, ah, guys. You know, it's like it's like one of those where you you know you got a picture with Michael Michael Jackson and and your and your face is you making a funny face. It's like damn, man, I got the picture, but damn, just look at my face. Wow. <laughs> you know. All right, cool. Next one is yeah. Questa and AKA. What must go? Oh, this one is difficult. This one's difficult. Um, uh, this one's difficult. I. Oof. It's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> this is a tough one. This is a tough one, man. This one is a tough one. 
I don't even know what the criteria is. I don't know because I, I know them personally. I know them as artists. It's like, yo, what's we the criteria about, here, man? We're I talking really, about MC, dog. Everything. You, MC, everything, oh, the whole M package. Yeah, yeah. I, AKA must die. Must, must die. You lie, Stooge. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you seen his catalog, dog? <laughs> So Keenan must I mean, die. Look, okay, let's put it let's put it this way. No, 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 let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. If I got a call during the lockdown, right? From Questa and then from Keenan. You say, yo, dog, I need your help. Can you come now? I'm probably going to Keenan's house, bro. <laughs> 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 so that kind of answers your question a little bit. You know what I mean? That right, kind of answers your question a little bit. Uh, let's go to maybe that means Keenan. Maybe that means Keenan is crazy. You know what I mean? I don't, trust, I don't trust him with himself. <laughs> There's that too, especially if he's got his phone in his hand. <laughs> All, right, <laughs> let's 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 All right, next we got Aries and Kid Tini. Ah, that's terrible. This is so terrible. <laughs> ah, this is terrible. What a terrible. You are setting me up, bro. This is a setup. This is a setup. This is such a setup. We are locking you, Stoji T. We are locking you. <laughs> Stay up. I love, I love Aries. I think Aries is such a talent. I think he's, he's immense and powerful. He's, 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 he's such a dope voice as well as, 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 as a young African MC. Um, I think Kitini the same. I think Kitini is, 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 is incredibly dope and he's fire. I did a song with him recently with Styles P. Uh, I, 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 I've grown to respect him a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, yo, I, I, yeah. Can we do a conjoint, conjoint twins thing where I cut one body half and the other half nah, and just nah, 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 as nah, one nah, body? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to fly. Uh, 18. It's not going to fly. <laughs> 18, 18, dog. <laughs> Kid Reese. <laughs> Ah, this is yo. Yeah. You're not playing, bro. Yeah. Yo, man, I don't know, man. You got me, bro. You really, really got me, bro. Get to I, your I, would, head, look, bro. I would say, I would. I mean, look, I would say Aries just because of what Aries means to the game right now. The obviously he's had, a, he's had, he's had, a, he's had, he, you know, he's, he's. If, if, if Reese were to, God forbid, God forbid, knock on wood, if Reese were to never make another song, I think his, his legacy is, is really, is a rich legacy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People will look at, at, back at Reese and go, yo, this kid is really, you know, and there's still so much potential. And I think with, with, with Kid Tini, he just hasn't had his moment yet. So, I, you know, I would say, I would say Reese, you know? Okay, so Kid Tini must go. Kid Tini must go. Ah. All right. Your words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one is Nasty CMT. Um, yo, MT, MT is, is a generational talent. Mm. He's a generational mm. talent. Well, well, you know, um, that kind of gift, bro, is, mm. is, is so is so incredible. Dude, that uh, track you did with that him. And, that track you did with him? Oh. Uh, by any means. Ah, that's my shit, dog. Bro. No! Bro, I, you know when we heard that beat, we're like, yo, 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 only one guy. Only one guy we can send this to. I chased that guy for so long, bro. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not giving up on this song. I need you on it. And he, he, it was like this, bro. It was mm. like a glove. You know, mm. to this day, people think that was his song. It was my song. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but God, that's because he, he absolutely killed it. So, you know, look, because... Because, because, and I love, I love, I love MT. Every time I see MT, it's love. And, you know, and he gave me a monster hit, bro. He gave me a monster hit and I love him to death. And he's a generational talent. Um, but I've never seen anything like Nasty in my life. Wow. 
So I'm sorry, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, MT. I'm sorry, MT. Wow, I'm so sorry. Dude, that, that is huge coming from you, bro. Bro, let me tell you, I heard him once. I heard him once on a song that we, 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 we were doing, uh, DJ Swiss. The first time I heard him, DJ Swiss were doing a song for a youngster. I was trying to help youngster out. And I called DJ Switch. I said, let's do a song for my friends from Cape Town. I love this guy. And he was like, okay, there's this kid from Durban who raps. Nice to see. I was like, okay, let's hear him. Uh, we heard a hook. We heard the beat. It was like, I, this is the, I love it. And then we tried to look for an MC. And, then, and Switch said, no, this guy raps as well. Had the verse. Next day, I was in Durban, bro. The next day, I was having lunch with him in Durban. And I was like, yo. I've, I've never, I, and I kept, I just, I just wanted to know where you come from. I was like, where does this come from? Where did you learn to do this? You're so young. Like if you're, if you're, if you're 25, I would have understood because you must have somewhere. But at this age, at like 19 at the time, I was like, where did you learn this from? Well, I flew to Durban, bro, just to go meet Nest to see. I was like, I just want to, I just want to know. Give me your backstory. Give me the, you know what I mean? Because mm. I've never, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just special to me, bro. Did you it's remind just, me the first time? I, 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 yeah, yeah, carry on, sorry. Yeah? Carry on. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, you remind me the first time. Uh, yeah, I, that, that was it. Uh, the first time I heard Nasty, um, it was Hell No. And I went back to my lady. I'm like, dude, you got to hear this song. I've never heard anything like this. Mm. And it was Nasty C, Hell No. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I don't yeah. know if it was local, international, yeah. but I was like blown away, you know? Absolutely. And that's the thing. That's the, that's the true mark of his genius is that, dog, a lot of his songs, I mean, yeah, okay, you hear the trap stuff. You talk, this is a nasty scene being trapped. But the songs that he does where you're like, bro, I don't know what this sounds like, bro. This is a, this is a, this is some, something else, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is someone else. This is, I don't know what this is, bro, you know? Yeah. There they go. There they go. It's like, what is this, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it goes. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, cool. Next one is Reason and Black Layers. Uh, Black Lives must, must go back to Pretoria. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you rapping Steve Pico, but I, I, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's, that, was, that was easy. Just because, I mean, come on, it's me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Here's the next one. We've got Gigi LeMay, Nadia Nakai. Um, I'm sorry, Gigi LeMay. And I met, and I met, and I met Gigi first. I met Gigi first as a young lady at a hip hop workshop and she was like, oh, please, please tell me how you do this thing when you rap, <laughs> you know, really, really young. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I love her a lot, man. I, I, I got a, I, I had some business with, 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 with Pro Kid. She was signed to Pro Kid and I managed to fix some, some business issue that they had. Um, so I met her mom as well. Really, I love, I love Gigi. I'm like, you know, um, but, Yo, you know, me and Nadia, that's like, yo, that's that's my people, man. She was on my first album, the album. She's uh, on on my on on Empire of Sheep now, you know, which Boyty and Nasty. I mean, that's 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 my girl. That's I'm sorry. You're gonna yeah. have to you're gonna have to fight hard to 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 get Nadia out of my team. <laughs> All right, uh, Squad Camp and Tear Gas. We're taking it back now, man. One must go. Squad Camp for Tear Gas. <laughs> okay, I came up with Squatter Camp. I came up with Squatter Camp. This is my guys. I came up with them, um, and and you know they were at my twenty first, bro. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, when yeah. was that? Nineteen sixty. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know those, those are my guys. Those are my guys. I catalog it, let you guess it, yo. I catalog it, let you. I, you know, you know, you, you know, they're doing these battles, and that's one I would have really liked to see. And Me I too. also, I also think that I tear, tear gas would have murked it, man. Yeah. Because I, I can think, I can think of, I, I mean, obviously Moya is Moya, you know. Mm. But there's maybe two other songs I can think of squatter wise. Marte, yes, I. I, I, they ruled us for a long time, those ones. <laughs> they were ruthless, my G. Yeah. All right, Rouge and so Shoma Josie. Rouge and Shoma Josie. 
Uh, Rouge, excuse me. Uh, Shoma Chozi, Askis, Mami. Mm. So, so I when, love when, Maya, but when she does that whole John Cena thing that she did, that has no sway in it, <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, that was huge, dude. She was on Ellen. What, what show was she on? <laughs> I mean, for God. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was someone did some daytime show. That was amazing. It was incredible. That was like such a great moment for her. I was so proud of her. And it was beautiful, man. It was beautiful that all those, all those things came together for her. Um, but you know, I like what I like, and I like Rouge. All right, let's go, Ricky Rick. The LES one must go, one must go. Oh, 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 oh man! Oh, wow, you're messing me up, bro. You're killing me right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I have to go for the day one, man. Yes, mm. I have to go for the day one. Yes, I love Ricky, and I talk to Ricky more. I have a close relationship with Ricky. Uh, that's my guy. That's my heart. I, I, uh, I get to him in mind. <laughs> I don't know, nigga. So, so we're gonna. Know, so Ricky must go. Ricky must die. <laughs> Yo, imagine Ricky must die. Imagine that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. All white party. Can I talk about all white party? Hey, Joe, I never even attended one of them. I saw them on social media, bro. <laughs> uh, it's my guy, bro. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you why I'll, I'll go for less. When I when I changed when I changed the name to Stogie Team, Les was one of the first people, very first people, to embrace me and to to really to really to really inquire what's what's good, like what are you trying to do, you know, on a personal level on, and, and on an artistic level. And I will forever respect him for that, man. I absolutely will ever I will always. When people thought I was losing my mind and I was going through a midlife crisis. Les, actually, the, the loudest guy, the craziest guy, he's the one who sat down and said, what's going on, bro? What's your, tell me about this thing. Where you at with it? You know, OG. And I, I love him for that. So yeah. I'll have to say Les because he impacted me. Do you, you, think, he, do you think he gets his flowers, man? Because one thing I, I, I admire about him and you as well is longevity. You know, it's very hard. You know, yeah. not a lot of people can sustain that. And I feel like he's been so consistent. But I don't think I don't feel like he gets his flowers, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, th I think I think I think the issue with Les is 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 the kind of I think the kind of sound maybe. I mean, obviously with Josie and whatnot, it was it was more. You could tell that they were catering more for for the for the local market and the you know. But Les is Les, man. He'll always be. He'll always make what he wants, what he feels sincere about, what he feels honest to, and sometimes that stuff always translate to the greater uh, nation, to, to, the, to the whole country. So sometimes it gets marginalized, you know, but, you know, as a club guy or a party guy, but that's what he is. I mean, he's a cool kid, he's a cool guy who, you know, who's the, if he walks in a room, he's, he's possibly the coolest guy in the room, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's Les, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and I think, you know, I think he gets he gets his due, man. I mean, you know, they they I, I've been to award shows where Les is honored and Josie, his legacy as part of Josie, you know, his legacy as 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 as, as, as a pioneer and 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 the freshest, you know, the guy who made everybody get fresh, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And 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 what about you? How do you manage to stay so consistent? Because for me, I think hip hop is like a young man's uh, sport. You know, I mean, I don't see you doing mosh pits and jumping on people now. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the, that's the I think that's the lie that's been sold to us is that it's a, it's a young man's sport. I think it definitely there's there's I think like everything else, there's always excitement over a new product. Yeah, you know, if you think of if you think of fresca <laughs> you know what i mean if you think nothing of, tastes you know like fresca <laughs> yeah absolutely there's always excitement over a new product and 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 sometimes rightfully so uh but a lot of times 
the things that we're No, nah, no, but, but, but be honest, Oji. I mean, listen, these kids yeah. are gigging like three times, maybe in one night from city to city. You old for that, dog. You can't be doing that. All weekend, every weekend, mm-hmm. for the whole year. And then on top of that, you got to go to Sumo. Nah, bro. Yo, no, don't, 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 don't take my bag away from me, please. <laughs> I can do it, people. Just call me. I can definitely do it. I can do five things in a week. Stop it, Maggie. Don't put ideas in people's heads, bro. Don't do that. Don't take my bag away from me. What is this guy doing, bro? What is this guy doing? No, look, look. Look, yeah, look. Jumping around and whatnot. That's definitely not. Look, if you understand that hip-hop is, is, is about word economy, bro. It's about you know, ultimately what the rapper does, then you'll always, there'll always be room for you. Jay-Z's, you know, it's past 50, bro. And every time he raps, people pay attention. You know what I mean? Um, yes, he's not jumping around. Yes, he's not the baby and, and making that kind of noise. But as long as, as long as lyrically, and this is what Freestyle Friday is showing us, is that, bro, there's no lights, there's no glamour, there's no, you know, there's no uh, bottle service, there's no, but there's guy in front of the camera rapping and you feel him, you feel what he's saying. Whether it's me, whether it's NV, whether it's P Dot, whether it's some unknown rapper from you know uh, wherever, bro, people resonate. It resonates with them, and they love it. And I think that's that's that, that's where the long journey comes from. It's just concentrating on what you do best. And I'm a I'm I'm a lyricist, bro. I write, bro. That's what I do. You know what I mean? Nice. I like that. All right, cool. So I got three more before we let you go. Uh, oh, this is a okay. tough one. P R O against Double H P. I don't want to be you right now, man. Yeah. Yeah, this one's tough because, you know, because, you know, God bless them both. You know, they're not here with us anymore. So, you know, um, in, 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 in a sense, I've already, I've already experienced this loss, you know. <laughs> mm. um, and, 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 and it's terrible, I think, you know. Um, also to lose them so, you know, so close together was really tough for all of us. But I think, you know, look, the guy who I considered for the longest time as my, 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 my peer and my, my competition was always pro just because he did something similar to what I did. He was a lyricist. He was a, you know, Jabba was an entertainer. He was a musician. He like, I mean, dog, and, and, and that's, that's the vantage point that I have, is that I had two million volume guy, so I was performing the festival, Lee Java, and then I had, I had, you know, as a rapper, as a lyricist, I'd be in ciphers with Pro Kid, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. So, I, 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 you feel me? So, I can yeah. hear both words, I'm like, oh, snap. So, I experienced them both very closely, but I knew that, personally, as a, as a rapper, must be better than this one. I'm going to be all across the way to all. Because this one is bad news. You know what I mean? That's, I mean, that's, that's the guy who, that's the guy who, who frightened me, who scared me, who excited me, who, me, who you know what I mean? Um, and my free so Jabba as well, but Jabba is a musician, bro. As a, as someone who, who, who was an entertainer, who was a fool kind of like, you know what I mean? I mean, one of my favorite songs from him is a song called Ancestors, Ancestors, where he talks about where he comes from. Yo, mm. go straight from Abala. To Harimbi, where we did, where we where we did forced labor, Mahala, our house burnt like Mahala, and so we we ay, my nigga, that thing Yo. is powerful, bro. It's so yeah. powerful, bro. It's yeah. so powerful. So, so. but uh, I mean, no, I think I think I gotta respect to both of them, man. I can't I can't answer this question. Anymore. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. I I realized yeah. that when I asked it, <laughs> I'm like, shit, no, this was a bad one. <laughs> okay, last two, uh, Kid X versus Ko. Anyone who knows me knows I, I at one point Kid X was my favorite rapper in the country. Who? Kid X. Oh, Kid X. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. More than Ginger True. Yeah. So yeah. More than Ginger True. Wow. Like a lot of rappers rate so, Kid X very highly, eh? It's cause he's technical. It's cause it's cause, you know, it's like it's um 
You know, you know when they talk about Paul Scholes, when soccer players, I don't know if you, if you yes, 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 yeah, Paul Scholes, yeah, Zidane, talk, all of them. Paul Scholes, yeah. So Paul, you, what in the S that you were Paul Scholes, you don't really see, you know, you, 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 you people notice goalkeepers and strikers. But Ronaldo, really Messi, guys who, mm. exactly. Those are easy to see because you see Haki Menji, you know what I mean. But these other guys, bro, quiet, silent, technical incredibly efficient and I, I you know I, I I listen to Kid X and I go damn how did he do that and that you know what I mean that, that kind of shit just makes me mesmerized man you know I, I just I'm always mesmerized by, 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 by Kid X's you know lyrical ability so for me I that one's easy all right cool uh, the last one this is my favorite Sto GT or do me on the volume one must die <laughs> Yo, take the band off. <laughs> it's still the old day, baby. <laughs> uh, the band must go. The band must go. <laughs> oh, nice. So that was amazing. Thank nah, you nah, so man. much, man. Thank you so much. Man. Respect, respect, respect. All right. Respect. So uh, tomorrow. You know I love the band. You know I love the band. Yeah. No, I know you do, man. Uh, so on Wednesday, we're checking out on Castle Light Unlocks in bed. Yes, sir. Yourself. Yes, yes, tell sir. us more about that, man. 22nd, uh, you know, like you mentioned, the Sway Freestyle, I mean, yo, some, some more that, bro, like me and Rouge, basically, I think they have, they have, they have a performance from a guy called Bass, who's, I mean, I'm sure you know Bass from uh, Dreamville, J, J. Cole's label, and I'm going to be on some, like, yo, Sway is going to ask us to rap, and we're going to rap, and I'm going to be rapping against Rouge, I mean, you know. I yeah. hope she takes it easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be nice. Uh, before you go, man, uh, one of my chillers said I must yeah. ask you, who is Yvonne? I don't know who that is. Yvonne. I wrote a song uh, from the first two men, the volume album, which is live. I wrote a song called Yvonne about a, about a girl who I was kind of shattering in the streets. And then um, I tried to call her. She, I, I managed to get a number. Then I called back and then I heard she was great. And a very sad song, very powerful song, and it was all made up. Right? There is no Yvonne, but as oh. you know, as you well know, that, that can be any one of our sisters, you know what I mean, in this, yeah. this crazy country of ours. Yeah, uh, uh, so we're in lockdown now, and a lot of artists are panicking or are not pretty sure how life after lockdown is going to be in terms of gigs and you know, festivals and stuff like that. As an artist, what do you think is going to happen after lockdown? What's going through your head? I think I think we're gonna get past it. I think I think you know we're, we're definitely gonna get past it. It's scary. It's it's unprecedented. It's crazy. But I think the best thing you could do as an artist is to plan for the future. Plan plan your albums like you were like there was no the, like there was no lockdown. Try to finish your albums. Try to finish your plans. Plan for the future. I think it's it, at some point, bro. At some point, it's gonna it's going to it's going to relax. They're gonna relax the lockdown. We're gonna, you know, start inching out and, and trying trying to figure out what to do, and you know, we'll shoot better content. Obviously, a lot of us are shooting from phone, so we'll be able to get get get, get together with our crews and and shoot nice nice content. You know what I mean? So I think just plan for that. Plan for the future. Don't 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 act like yo yo my boy too even you know. Mm. And and I'm I'm guessing that's how Freestyle Fridays came about because in times like these, that's when you need to be the most innovative. You know. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. I was actually reading an article and they were saying that everything is going virtual now. So you see like how they do the whole lockdown party thing on, on Channel O, right? Yeah. So as a DJ, you can have that, but on Zoom and then people pay to come in and watch you to, DJ. Wow. Wow. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. That's fire. That's yeah. dope. That's pretty cool. I mean, look, I mean, this, it, it, the technology is going gonna, is gonna to be forced to get better as well. Yeah. Because... You know, there's something like this could happen again, you know, so. All right, cool. Uh, can you drop us a, a freestyle or is that cheesy? You don't do that no more. That's cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that it's cheesy, Mac G. It's not that it's cheesy. It's that, you know, nowadays, nowadays we get paid for stuff like that. <laughs> so you can't even do one where you mention podcast <laughs> Mac G somewhere <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Stoji, thank you so much for hanging out with me, man. I remember the first time... But I'm, I can't details. Yeah, I can't details. I was like, you are late. <laughs>
<laughs> you remember the first time when? <laughs> I remember the first time I actually met you because I've been following your career for the longest time, like mo most people have, but I'd never met you. And then I saw you at that? Cotton Lounge. You were shooting for Slick on Life and we were shooting as well. And you're like, yo, man, I know right. you, man. you that dude that talks to celebrities on YouTube. I'm like, shit, after all I've done, that's how Stoji's going to remember me. <laughs> No, no, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're capping. Stop capping. <laughs> I said to you, I said, I said, bro, I love your shit. I said this, I said, bro, I love your shit. How you just kind of like, you just talk to people, like you don't give a fuck. You just like, uh, come on, bro, stop it. Stop capping, bro, stop capping. Oh, is this how you're fishing for compliments, you bastard? This is how you're fishing for compliments. You got me, you got me, nigga, you got me. Got him. <laughs> Thank you so you got me, bro. Bravo. Thank you so much. And hopefully after lockdown, we can do another one where we sit properly, man, because there's so much we got to talk about. Yeah, properly, know? man. Yeah, let's, I want to talk about kids. I want to talk about, you know, I want to talk about baddies. I want to talk about, we must do a list of bad, 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 bad girls and all that. I want to do all that stuff. All that nice stuff that you do. That's my shit. That's my shit. You come to the right place, chief. <laughs> Respect, kid. Respect, all bro. All right, just in closing, man, where can people check you out? Cost a lot in bed. What else is uh, popping? Castle Dead Thursday, 22nd, of course, on YouTube and whatnot. But uh, Twitter, Tumi Mulagani, Instagram, Stogie underscore T. Thank you for having me, my G. I appreciate the love. One love. Take care, my bro.